exactly the process that took place. Please. Now, once again, like I said, the book goes in and out of my own personal family history and the history of the state of Israel and how the two are related. This is a picture of my niece, Madar. And on September the 4th, 1997, she was killed. Two young Palestinians blew themselves up in Jerusalem, took their own lives, and several Israelis, the lives of several Israelis, including her. She was 13 years old. So when a 13-year-old little girl that you know and love gets killed like this, you know, you don't really know what to do. You don't know what to think, you don't know what to feel, you don't know how you're going to get back to life after that. Now, she was a granddaughter of a famous general, so this was big news. On top of that, she was also the granddaughter of Mr. Peace with Palestine. And now look what they did to him. Look what they did to his granddaughter. My, my father had already passed away by then. So this was even, this was big news. And when I landed, in, uh, in, when I arrived in Jerusalem, my sister's house on the ground, I could also, I saw the, the morning paper and on the front page it already said the granddaughter of General Pellet was killed by Palestinians. And my sister's apartment was packed with mourners, of course, people who came to express their sorrow, but also reporters, endless stream of reporters. I mean, after the funeral, she came out to greet and see everybody. She said two things that put me on a path, and I think it put her on a path, and many of us kind of helped us to wrap our heads around this unspeakable tragedy. The first thing she was asked, of course, is about revenge and retaliation. And the comment that she made was, no real mother would want this to happen to another mother. Don't talk to me about revenge. Motherhood is a uniting force. It cuts through religion. It cuts through any differences that might exist between us. And if she's anything above all is she is a mother. She's got three other boys, wonderful boys. And the second thing she said was, my government is responsible. My government brought these two young men to such a level of despair that they would take their own lives and take the lives of other innocent people, including a 13-year-old girl. The, the brutal oppression under which the Palestinians have to live because of us is the cause of this. That is why this is happening. If we want this to happen, we have to lift the oppression. As long as Palestinians are denied hope, and denied freedom, and denied water, and denied their land and their homes, this will continue to happen. I point a finger at my own government. And interestingly enough, Bibi Netanyahu, who is today Prime Minister, was Prime Minister then as well. He also used to be a close personal friend of my sister because they went to school together in Jerusalem. 